Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I think it's time for another nerd vlog. It's been a while since I've done a nerd vlog. I don't even remember which number of nerd vlog this is, but I think this is a fantastic time to do another nerd vlog. So let's do it. You ready? Go. <laughs> Ah, uh, welcome back. So we're doing a nerd vlog and look at this. We're in my shop. This is my shop here at the house. And uh, I've, I've collected enough 3D printers where I've had to move some out here. And in fact, if I stand right here, right behind me, that's where I filmed some unboxings. That's where you saw me, unfortunately, put the XYZ printer back in the box. That's where you saw Bill Duran and I make some Harry Potter ones. And if you notice back there, what is that? Let's go find out. Look at this. Look at that. that that's an Ultimaker box. That's right. I've got an Ultimaker 2 Plus, thanks to Matter Hackers and Ultimaker. Ultimaker and Matter Hackers, they got together and they talked about how I should have an Ultimaker machine and they worked it out. And so now I have one. It's awesome. I've unboxed it, I've got footage. I just need to put it together. Ooh, see this? This is one of my two light boxes and, well, it's okay here. Let me, let me reach around and it's not plugged in. That's unfortunate. Well, it produces light, <laughs> but they're bulbs. They're, they're not, they're not LEDs, they're bulbs. And I, I want to get myself, uh, some LED light panels and I've been looking I was looking at um, Aperture, I think it is Aperture there. Uh, they make some light panels. They're LED light panels and they're awesome. So I'm trying to get in contact with them to see if I can get some light panels. And that would be so much better because having to carry, see this thing, see this thing? It's huge, it's awesome-ish, but it's huge. And having to carry it around everywhere when I need to film stuff is kind of unfortunate. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll give me some LED light panels. Oh look, oh look, my Red Bull. Mmm, it's tasty. Oh look, there's the See Me CNC failed print. The gloriously epic failed print. Um, oh, you've probably noticed. Uh, it looks a little different and that's because we're on my GoPro camera. The other camera was used for a school performance for one of the kids and I just haven't charged the battery again. I should do that. But the GoPro seems to be working just fine. I hope you can see okay. Um, ooh, what's this? What's this down here? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's get comfortable. This is a One How Duplicator 6, the D6. They sent it to me. And One House specifically wants me to unbox it and share my opinions of the printer. But then One How has specifically asked me to compare this against the Zortrax M200 and the Ultimaker 2 Plus. That should be a very, very interesting comparison. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. And there may be a surprise with this if I can work out some details. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh man, now I gotta get up. Oh, now I gotta get up. Oh, there's something else down here. Let's, let's go back down here. I don't know if you can see here, but this is a Cubicon style 3D printer. Cubicon makes some good machines and they sent me the style because they wanna get my opinion of the machine and, and put out uh, some videos on it and uh, I've heard good things about it. I, I can't wait to get it out of the box, but <laughs> I don't have any time. I need time to get this stuff out of the box. Oh, there's my saw. Hi saw. Oh man, man, I need more time. Um, are we done in the shop? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I should show you the Ultimaker. It's printing right now, but that would mean we'd have to go in the house. So let me go get my Red Bull and then we'll go in the house. Okay, we're, we're in my laundry room and right there is the Ultimaker. This thing is currently printing, well, it's currently printing really well. It's using Matter Hackers Pro Black PLA and I'm printing one of the parts to 
the Tracer pistol, Tracer from Overwatch, the game Overwatch. And I think, I think it's coming along really nicely. I like how, I like how this Ultimaker works. It prints really, really well. And uh, look at this, let's see, it has seven hours left. It has, it has seven, seven hours left, but that's the Ultimaker, that's the Ultimaker 2 Plus, that's what I'm enjoying with right now. Uh, I'm really having a good time printing with it. The machine so far in the, let's see, I probably put, I probably had it printing 30 hours worth of stuff and it's it's done a great job. It's, it's a really good printer so far and it's gonna be one of my favorite reviews, I think. I don't know when exactly that's coming, but I know that'll be, that'll be showing up. Next to the Ulti Maker, look, this, this is the jump start. That was that printer. Uh, I posted a picture of an immaculate first layer, and it was on the jump start. And I was running the jump start from the Matter Hackers T10 tablet, which does software bed leveling. It's actually kind of unique. And it was amazing. It was a wonderful first layer. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time to print with it yet, but I will, I don't know if there's enough demand, I'll, I'll make a video on it. I don't know if I can give it a proper review, but I can certainly give you some thoughts on it. Oh, and there's my, there's my Lulzbot Taz 6. That, that's the unit that I reviewed and still had some issues. Uh, Lulzbot is selling them like hotcakes, so I, they don't have another production model for me to review. But thankfully, I was able to tighten up the frame and I was able to add some grease on the rods and it seems to be printing better. It seems to be printing better. The, uh, uh, oh, the other thing I want to show you here, look at this. Do you see that? That is Tallman's Alloy 910. And it's just a giant mess of suck. Here's what's interesting. So the, the Tallman stuff, right? They make good material, but the, on the, the 2.85 millimeter filament, on the small rolls is just terrible. Uh, so I reached out to Tallman and they said, when you use a Tallman spool, you need to leave the netting on. And I said, what? Show me a link on your website where you can show me the best way to use your rolls. And they said, oh, uh, we don't have that. Hey, let's get in contact. So Tallman is, Tallman is gonna send me some rolls of filament. I'm gonna produce a video on the best way to use these small rolls. And the story of why they have these rolls is fascinating. It is literally fascinating and I can't wait to share it. So that's going to be that's going to be an upcoming video and I'm really really excited to do that one because everyone I talk to takes the netting off these things. I don't know if you do, maybe we don't talk, but everyone takes the netting off those small rolls and I <laughs> I want to learn about it. So it should be it should be a lot of fun. Ooh, I have some more news to share, uh, but we got to go in the office. So just a sec. Ooh. Okay, here's the first part of some cool news. This machine right here is the 3D Gents 1, and it's an immaculate 3D printer. And it's going to be the next printer that I review. And I, oh, I can't wait for you to see this here. Just, I want you to look at this. That, the hot end is just crazy. And look at those, <laughs> look at those <laughs> seat rods. And it's built tough and it is it is just it is crazy i can't i cannot wait to tell you more about this machine uh it's it's unlike any printer i've ever i've ever used oh and here look look up here see the lulzbot mini right here lulzbot contacted me and they said that originally I was going to have to give this back because it was a review unit. But because I have a fantastic community and a large number of loyal followers, they would like me to keep this so that I can continue to do prints with it and show it off in the community. So thanks to you guys, this Lulzbot Mini is now mine. <laughs> Awesome. Oh man, that's really cool. Uh, I thank you. <laughs> oh, with that 3D gents, since it 
it has a nozzle that can get pretty hot and it's got a ceramic build plate which gets hot as well i wanted to try this and this is the recycled pet from filamentive and this night model is something that a bunch of people have been printing on from thingiverse and it looks it came out really well the this was my first time ever printing with it and it it came out fantastic uh and then i thought well I do have this PETG from All Professional 3D. Let's give it a shot too. And I use the exact same settings on the exact same printer and it came out looking really well. What's really impressive with how these filaments handle the sword handle. I think that turns out great. You can see the lines. You can see the lines in the grip. I don't know. These models are kind of cool. Uh, this isn't something that I would typically normally print because I don't print. Um, these sort of these sort of figurines usually i print stupid stuff but uh i really wanted to give it a shot and it turned out uh really good uh, last but not least i need to tell you about this project i'm involved with so i was contacted by 3dprinterchat.com and together with anton and daniel you know daniel he's the one that created 3d benchy where we're collectively giving away a 3D printer once every three months. It's a standard contest run through Gleam, and I know I've used Gleam on my channel before, so it's it's you should already know how to use it. I'll put the link down below. But yeah, a, a 3D printer every three months. Uh, it's it seems like a good contest. I, I I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 3D printer chat, Anton, Daniel, uh, we're just we're just happy to give away. A printer so again if you if you have a few moments go down look in the description you'll find the link for the contest and I hope you can enter and you know I'm keeping my fingers crossed best of luck that you win well that's it for now I know it's a short little nerd vlog but I, I wanted to tell you about the contest I wanted to tell you about the printers that I have coming up I wanted to talk to you about the 3d gents I wanted to tell you about the Ultimaker. I wanted to talk about the Lulzbot mini um yeah so that's really everything i don't know if this was cool give it a like leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything i showed or talked about um be sure to subscribe to my channel because i'm really close to 30,000 subscribers and there's a rumor that i may have a giveaway planned for that so you do need to be subscribed to win anything on my giveaways and uh, i i'm gonna hit 30k really soon so it's in your best interest. Uh, let's see. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. That sort of financial support is not required, but I'm, I'm ever so thankful for their financial support. It really helps the channel out. Um, you can hit that little button over there, and if you have a spare dollar a month that you want to give to me, uh, you can do it through patreon.com. Again, I'm never going to require that. You know, I'm, I'm just going to ask you for a social high five every once in a while. And... Speaking of high fives, as always, high five. Is Joel Telling and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly because he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor, then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombat, Volsbot, G Max XT, then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope for a sticker instead. There's a nerd vlog on boxings and Q's and A's and he'll open your mail every single Friday. And of course you can't forget that pancake bot and filaments on a cleese and Joel's cute little tot. And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio like Lando Calrissian who's tried Han Solo. So show your support on Patreon or subscribe and as always, high five.